We have another guest who hasn't arrived yet. He got stopped by customs. But he's on his way. It took him two days to get through customs. What do you suppose his visual difference is that moves people to discriminate against him? He's not a terrorist. <laughs> And one of the rumors I hear is that he had it removed because the girl he was going out with wouldn't marry him as long as he had this snake. So apparently he had it removed, she jilted him, and then he just started going at it again. Last November, it was November of 89, he walked into the clinic. I was doing my volunteer hour like I do at the school, and he slammed his fist down on the desk and said, I want a lawyer and I want one now. Well, I got my first tattoo, I guess, when I started, when I, when I had the bike accident. And that was just a uh, camera truck. The Grim Reaper on my throat here, and it's on a Harley going through the flames of fire, and my tire here is remind me of death, because when I hit that camera truck head on. My, my mother was up against it. And she said to me when I went over host to have supper one night, she says, uh, you go in there and I wash them right now and take a washcloth and wash your face. I went in the washroom and I washed my face, come back out. She says, you get back in there and you scrub. I says, Mom, it won't come off. What did I ever do wrong in life? Where did I go wrong? Why did you wreck yourself? I says, Mom, you know I had a truck head on. She says, plastic surgery, son, and I bought you a wig. I says, I didn't like the wig, Mom. Well... I don't want to come around here anymore because I don't want the neighbors to, to, to see what's coming in the garage. So he tells me, Mike, I'm getting kicked out of all these places and I, I don't do anything wrong. I just go in, I have a coffee. It's the way I look. Mall people, mall owners don't like the way I look. What can we do? About, I'd say 60 people showed up and we were picking around with chant, let him in with his skin. I mean, what makes them so different than us? Just because he chose to look a little more different. What uh, places did you target? Uh, ma mainly the mascot restaurant downtown, because that's the one place that as soon as he walks in the door, tells him to get out. And I did some thinking, and I decided we could challenge the constitutionality of the act. In other words, the Ontario Trespass to Property Act. This act was the one that, was, that he was being charged under. To make it simple, the mall owner was relying on this act to throw this guy out. And our position was that whenever you use a statute to throw someone out, it has to comply with the Charter. Now in the Charter, that's the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, there's a specific section on equality and discrimination. And you can't discriminate against certain specific groups of people like handicapped people, colored people, religion different sorts of religions and any other analogous grounds. Analogous means similar. So we decided that uh, physical appearance was a similar ground. Uh, myself and the whole whack of my friends, we take it upon ourselves to sign a bunch of petitions hoping that they would hold up in court. I argued that uh, the way in which this statute had been applied to Snake was unconstitutional. He was thrown out because of the way he looks and there was evidence to show that. We had well over 500 petitions signed with, I think it was about 40 names per petition. Good stock like this, and we had them in the courtroom, and the judge just sloughed them aside. Justice of the Peace said, uh, no, this is between two private individuals, the mall owner and Snake. Charter doesn't apply. Uh, I think it was just straight discrimination that he just pushed him away, not giving, giving a darn to even a look. So he was found guilty, convicted, and... Uh, fine of $78 or so was uh, assessed against him. The purpose of this whole deal isn't worrying about poor snake or my tattoos, but the point is, is uh, other people's children in the future, in the 21st century, and your children, everybody else's children, uh, they don't get kicked out of malls or restaurants because if they're open to the public, why are they uh, doing this trespass act kind of thing? If they, they're going to do trespass act, why be open to the public? You know, why be open at all? Autograph. 
sign a kid's autograph, you know, you know, to Bobby or to Karen, and I'm very careful. How old are you? Oh, I'm seven. So I don't put love, because I'll tell you why. I did that mistake once, and somebody took it the wrong way. I put love to a seven-year-old, and they thought, you know what I mean? It's sick. What I meant by it was love from my heart. And when all the uh, brouhaha about the uh, snake had come around with the tattoos on his hands and face, I knew even back then, a few years back, that he'd, he'd really regret what he had done to himself. If you knew then what you know now, would you tattoo your face again? No, I wouldn't, because for the point is, people think I have a cold heart, and girls tell me they love me, and they expect me to uh, sit on a stone and... Uh, take it. They don't think I've got feelings. They figure, well, you know, he can take it because it takes so much pain. But where, where am I supposed to go if I'm not loud here and not loud there? Where would you tell me? Tell me where I should go, where I should be. In a small little island where there's nobody around, just by myself in Hawaii, you know, and not, you know, nobody can see me and just live all my life on, not be with anybody because I'm getting tired of being hurt. I'm getting tired of getting screwed around.